from 2013. A corrupt anti-Semitic bigot stepped away from opposition Senate duty. Bob Carr was highly lauded as an opposition leader when he trawled for turds off Bondi Beach, but the one-trick pony just wants his former Premier pension and assets. And with all his time in office, it is impossible to point to anything worthwhile he did. The press will be kind, referring to his status as a dartboard figurine. He'll be missed. ALP were upset the military did not tow the party line while they were in government. Bad decisions meant mi uh, many soldiers were killed on duty. To punish the military, ALP leaked and inflated scandals. It is terrible to hear of young people having sex where crimes have taken place. The army is equipped to handle them. Sadly, that doesn't help the ALP. A former journalist but current ALP member in South Australia wants censorship. Mia Friedman is prone to saying dumb things, but not everything she posts is bad. Censorship also works when people stop listening. Mr. Howard is Australia's greatest Prime Minister to date, something journalists try to obscure as they barrack for ALP. AGW extremism burns a billion dollars a day, reminding me of an old Judd Strunk number, I'll burn you a billion a day, dear. The only cure for debt is saving. ALP must embrace abolition of carbon tax if it is to thrive again. Russia has migration issues related to terrorism, something Australia has to think about as a culture of feral peoples, not solely one religion behaving appallingly badly. A parent copies their bushfire-starting child's delivery of the bird. Barry Cassidy booted Bolt from the insiders, but enjoys perks he denies others. That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later date, and you like it, like it! Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.